So you mentioned that, you know, a lot of events, they, they pop up and they do once or twice and then they kind of disappear. So when you're looking at events to possibly go to, what should you look for to, to see if an event is one that's going to, you know, be around for a long time and maybe you can keep going to it year after year versus the ones that go move out of existence or fade into the background? I personally would look uh, more like, uh, if I can afford, if it sounds like price is reasonable and the travel uh, time is reasonable, then I would go no matter um, you know how this event looks like, just to experience and then you will know. Because sometimes you know we also had our the first event and people wanted the second to repeat. So mm-hmm. if new event is popping up in the industry, doesn't mean that it will be a, a bad quality. Even though the, the one I mentioned from Helium 10, it was a big event, I think, three years ago. But um, it was still good. I think people enjoy it. Just maybe uh, they didn't manage to reach as many people as possible to maybe cover the costs. Mm-hmm. But uh, the quality was good. So it doesn't mean that, yeah, if event is popping up, just a new event or the, for the second time, it will be bad quality. It will still be good. But you could also look at the speakers who are coming. So very often, of course, most of conferences, they have a agenda with speakers, the stage. And uh, the speakers basically probably are attracting the audience so if there is no one talking about maybe a wholesale amazon then nobody will come who is interested in wholesale so if you are selling wholesale on amazon maybe don't go to that event but if there are like you know speakers talking about taxes and uh, about you know logistics sourcing and if it's your pain points at the moment in this area in your business then better join this event so mm-hmm. kind of yeah i would evaluate according to the agenda as well because this will define what kind of attendees are attracted also to come so but if it is expensive event and now you have to decide okay is it worth to you know invest a big budget and uh, travel a lot maybe it's uh, in some uh, island caribbean island suddenly somebody is putting up a vp event well vp events are usually i think quite useful and good so if you have budget you go and if you have time but if it's like let's say average priced between 400 to 1000 dollars i would ask opinions of uh, other people who are attending events Uh, i would ask uh, if they have been to find who was in the previous edition what is their you know takeaway what if they could recommend to come or not Um, maybe if you have a connection to one of the speakers also i would ask because speakers also travel a lot to different events and they probably can compare and have some kind of opinion and uh, yeah that would be my kind of criteria how i would choose if i joined the event or not yeah so it it sounds like you said that pretty much just go to an event if it looks interesting to you regardless of if you think it's going to be one that's going to happen over and over because there's you never know what knowledge you're going to gain when you go to these events and who you're going to meet yeah i think that this is the main message like don't if you're adopting, then probably there is opportunity for you answer yes. So, yeah, if you can just say yes and go. Because, yeah, you, you can never predict what can happen 